The Shape of Shadows. This is a documentary produced by Merkel Media with Tony Merkel, host of the Confessionals podcast, which you can find right here on YouTube. This was done in collaboration with Space Wolf Research in Utah. One could only imagine what a person would experience looking deep into such paranormal activity on location. UFOs, lights in the sky, lights in the distance, the devil's footprints, sorcery, the men in black. How about all of that and the skinwalker too? And that's when you first drive into Utah. Sounds like the vacation of your dreams, right? Or your worst nightmare. Skinwalkers, or Yi Nadlushi, are enigmatic and feared figures in Navajo and Native American folklore, particularly within the Navajo culture. These entities are believed to possess the supernatural ability to transform into animals and often engage in malevolent or dark deeds. The concept of skinwalkers is deeply rooted in Native American traditions, and discussing them can be sensitive, as it is considered taboo in many Native American communities. You know, one of the things that we should consider when it comes to Native American folklore, mythology, or history, many of the things that involve paranormal activity or phenomena, the Natives don't really understand themselves. Some of these things were happening even before the natives settled here. You can go out and point to some of these ancient mounds or pyramids and ask the natives about it and they might come back and say, we don't know where they came from either. Now skinwalkers are reputed to have the power to take on the appearance and abilities of various animals, such as wolves, coyotes, or owls. This transformation allows them to move about undetected and engage in nefarious activities. They are generally perceived as malevolent beings who use their shape-shifting abilities for harmful purposes. They are generally perceived as malevolent beings who use their shape-shifting abilities for harmful purposes. They are believed to bring sickness, misfortune, or even death to their victims. These intentions may include inflicting harm on individuals, livestock, or communities. Their origins vary across different Native American tribes, but the concept is most closely associated with the Navajo people. Speaking about skinwalkers is often taboo and many Navajo individuals avoid discussing them out of fear. Sharing stories or information about skinwalkers is believed to attract their attention. And this is really the M.O. of evil spirits or demons. In Mesoamerican folk religion, a Nahual or Nahual is a human being who has the power to shapeshift into their tonal animal counterpart. Nagualism is tied to the belief one can access power and spiritual insight by connecting with the tonal animal within. Then there are the traditional tales about the Lugaru that are found in French Canadian and European folklore. The Lugaru is also called lycanthrope or werewolf. A Lugaru is generally believed to be a person who can change into animal form, often as a wolf. In French-Canadian folklore, the loup-garou is often a dog. 
It may also take the form of a calf or a small ox, a pig, a cat, or even an owl. There is the kitsune from Japanese folklore. There are two major variations of kitsune. Holy foxes are servants of the Shinto deity Inari, and Inari shrines are decorated with statues and images of these foxes. Legends tell of celestial foxes providing wisdom or service to good and pious humans. These holy foxes act as messengers of the gods and mediums between the celestial and human worlds. They often protect humans or places, provide good luck, and ward evil spirits away. More common are the wild foxes which delight in mischief, pranks, or evil. There are stories in which wild foxes trick or even possess humans and cause them to behave strangely. Despite this wicked nature, even wild foxes keep their promises, remember friendships, and repay any favors done for them. Most tales of Kitsune are about wild foxes punishing wicked priests, greedy merchants, and boastful drunkards. They vex their targets by creating phantom sounds and sights, stealing from them, or otherwise humiliating them publicly. Certain mental disorders have been attributed to possession by Kitsune, known as Kitsune Tsuki. Mysterious illusory fires and strange lights in the sky are said to be caused by their magic and are known as Kitsunebi or Foxfire. Kitsune are extremely intelligent and powerful shapeshifters. They frequently harass humans by transforming into giants or other fearsome monsters. Sometimes they do this just for pranks and sometimes for more nefarious purposes. They are skilled enough to even transform into exact likenesses of individual people, often appearing in the guise of beautiful human women in order to trick young men. On more than one occasion, this has resulted in a marriage with an unwitting human. Some kitsune even spend most of their lives in human form, adopting human names and customs taking human jobs, and even raising families. When startled, or drunk, or careless, a patch of their magical disguise can fail the kutsune's true nature may be revealed by a tail, a swatch of fur, fangs, or some other vulpine feature. The kumiho is a fox spirit in Korean folklore known for its ability to transform into a beautiful woman. It often appears as a seductive figure to deceive and harm humans. In Slavic folklore, the Leshi is a forest spirit. Known for its shape-shifting abilities, it can take on the appearance of animals, trees, or people, and often leads travelers astray in the forest. The Puka is a shape-shifting creature in Irish folklore, known for its ability to change forms, often appearing as a black horse. It can be both helpful and mischievous, leading travelers astray or assisting them on their journey. The Kawataro is a shape-shifting creature that often appears as a hairy, disheveled man. It is known for blocking paths and tricking travelers. And this is interesting. For example, in this documentary, we hear a story from Ryan Burns from Confessionals Podcast number 202, where he describes sustaining an injury as a fishing guide. And while stopped along the road, he saw what appeared to be an elderly Native American, or it could have been a deer or a sheep but it had a blanket over its head and was moving toward the truck he was parked in. He asked the person if they needed help and they mumbled something and got into the truck. When they did, Ryan felt tears come to his eyes. Later on, he was found hanging out of his truck catatonic. He didn't know what had happened, but 
He was later told that he was nabbed by a skinwalker. In Navajo culture, there are protective measures and ceremonies that individuals use to safeguard themselves from potential encounters with skinwalkers. These may include creating protective amulets or engaging in ceremonies to ward off malevolent spirits. Skinwalkers are deeply rooted in Native American mythology and spirituality. While some may perceive them as purely malevolent, others see them as symbols of transformation and the balance between the human and animal worlds. And this is very common when it comes to these creatures. They are often described in a negative or positive light. Some people see them as bad. Some people see them as good. And this is a trick by the skinwalker to cause confusion. That way you never know what their intentions are. But just understand that it is a trick. At the end of the day, even if they do things that may seem helpful to some, their intentions are rooted in evil. One of the reasons I know that they are evil entities is because of what it takes to become a skinwalker in the first place. And that comes down to human sacrifice. I'm talking about the live dismemberment of a loved one. They must be someone that they truly love and they must cause extreme pain and death by dismemberment. And that is what it takes to get these evil spirits to grant you that ability to shapeshift. It's important to approach discussions about skinwalkers with respect for the beliefs and traditions of Native American cultures. For many, these legends are an integral part of their heritage and discussions should be conducted with sensitivity and cultural awareness. Because like I said, many of them don't even understand what a skinwalker is. They just have a deeper history of experiences with them. They have stories. One of the reasons you know that these beings are working with or are evil spirits is that they always do the same things that are expected of them. They keep a good distance. They leave random animal and human tracks behind. They are almost always accompanied with lights in the sky or off in the distance through some trees or in the mountains in the distance. They make creepy noises, moving around outside at night. It's almost like they all follow the same script, but it's only because evil spirits don't have any new tricks up their sleeve. They've been using the same tricks since the beginning, and that is why they can be identified easily. And of course, there is always the possibility of a hoax where people just want to scare other people away or they just want to get a reaction out of them or they don't want certain people moving into their town and in this documentary you get a sample of all of those tricks for example in this film there is a scene where a large shipping container was picked up and moved in the middle of the night without anyone witnessing it not dragged along the ground but picked up and repositioned by magic almost. It cannot be explained, and that is what these entities do. They love to cause confusion, and it's done just to throw you off. This was a great documentary film, and I hope to see many more from our friends at Merkel Media. I know Tony Merkel, and he is a great podcast host, and his show is very entertaining, and informative so go check out the confessionals podcast the film is the shape of shadows and if you're interested in watching that film details will be below in the description box that's all for now and there is more to come be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com become a level one member for exclusive content visit the woodward tv store which you can easily browse down below this video link is also in the description box you can follow me on instagram at jae woodward everyone have a great day and as always friends until next time stay awake stay aware stay safe and i'll talk to you all soon